Welcome to That Board Game Show. My name is Hein van Jerden, and today I'd like to talk to you about World's Fair 1893. Now, in the year 1893, Chicago hosted this International World's Fair, where exhibits of science, technology, culture, and entertainment was hosted. You play the role of an organizer that's going to send out various supporters to these different category venues in order to uh, recruit uh, influential people onto your team and secure exhibits that you would be putting up and hosting. It's a very interesting game that takes you into the era of 1893, where you meet characters like Henry Ford that invented vehicles, or Harry Houdini and his entertainment that he brought to the market. Let me show you World's Fair. World's Fair 1893 is a game based on the international exhibition that took place in the city of Chicago. The iconic feature of this world exhibition was this Ferris wheel that stood in the middle of the showgrounds. I know this because I read it from one of the cards that we are going to be playing with. In this card, it said to me that this 260 foot tall rotating wheel, the first of its kind, astonished visitors and engineers alike and will cost you 50 cents per ride. This is the kind of information that you're going to learn playing this game because you are going to be progressing through the various areas um, being shown at this exhibition. Like here we have electricity, manufacturing, fine arts, agriculture and transportation. Now remember you are going to be playing the role of the organizer and you are going to be sending out your supporters which are these little blocks of tokens that you're going to be taking out and putting in any of these different sectors and as you lay them down you get these cards and trust me you must read these cards because there is such valuable information in what happened in that area and the kind of people that was around and how they invented the most fantastic machines that we just take for granted today. Let's see how we're going to start this game. When we come, we lay out our board with our first wheel in the center of the table and randomly the different sectors around it. Next, you need to determine your player order and you have these handy little player cards with one to four players that you would hand out to your players. On the reverse side of these cards are the different actions that you're going to perform as you get these various character cards um, from the game. So it's always handy to take these player cards and keep them in front of you so that you can always refer to the actions that you get from your different influential people. Next, you are going to be placing your tokens, your supporter tokens down on the board based on your starting position and we're told you to place a supporter. Then the rounds are very simple. There is basically three rounds in this entire game and they are depicted down at the bottom here where the little red marker is. So round one begins by the little cart of your ferris wheel starting at the bottom position and then moving all the way around and ending at the bottom. As soon as he gets all the way around you go through a scoring phase of round one. Thereafter it moves over to round two and at the end of round two once the cart has moved all the way around again you will score again and so likewise with round three. So as you can see, this is a very, very fast little game to play. It's a very easy game to play, but it's also very strategic because you need to decide where you're going to be placing your supporters. And to aid you into placing your supporters, you gain these various uh, influential cards and exhibitions. Let me show you. If I'm yellow player and I take my token and put them down over there, I would collect all of these cards and take them to my hand. Now I have got two influential people here and this particular influential people, if I refer to my action card, will tell me that I can place an extra token on my next round on the green location. 
this player or influential person will allow me to place an additional supporter on any of the different sectors around the board. And this, lastly, is an exhibit, exhibit that I'm going to hang on to because when I get to the scoring phase, I'm going to be trading these exhibits in and get these various tokens at the bottom here. Your goal is to get a variety of these tokens because the greater the variety, the more points you would score. If you manage to get five different tokens, you will get 15 points for that set. Uh, four will give you 10 and so forth. So one is only going to give you one point. So you want to get a bigger variety that you possibly can. And it all depends on where you place your supporters. Once you've taken all the cards from a specific exhibit into your hand, you have to replace them. Uh, you would take the top card and replace it at the very first exhibit and then progress on to the second and third, uh, placing one card where you possibly can. But while I'm at this stage, let me just show you what these cards actually do. Um, this particular card here is about the original cable car that came out. There is also some very interesting facts at the bottom of the card. So it's very nice to read these. If I take out my second card that's going to come over here, it will be the world's largest cheese. Interesting. And then the third card that's going to come out, I'm going to be placing over here. And it is the fresh popcorn machine. Charles Creators introduced his invention, the first automatic popcorn maker at the fair, and it cost you five cents per bag. So once you have um, taken the cards from one sector, you then replenish them in that order. And do yourself a favor, read what the cards say. During the round, as you place your supporters, you are also going to be referring to the scoring phase card because the scoring phase card makes it easier for you to determine who scored the most points on each phase. Um, there's different scoring phase cards depending on the number of players. So we'll look at the four player version. Right now, if I had to score, I would start in one sector and move all the way around. So if I had to start in this particular yellow sector, the electricity sector, I would see that purple has got the most supporters in that sector, which gives them first place and they get the first place token, which is this four points. They also, based on these little tick marks, have the ability to turn or return these exhibits back into the bank and gain these tokens. And if they were first, they could return three, up to three of their different uh, exhibits. But they have to be the exhibits pertaining to the sector that you are working with, in this case, yellow. If you end up with a situation where you have a... Uh, uh, two players, both tying for the first place, you would have the tie first place situation where you would only get a two coin uh, medal and be able to return two exhibits through to uh, earn your tokens. That's the game. It is as simple as that. Place your supporters on the board, move the uh, little cart around for every one of your admission tickets that you gain and uh, score at the end of each round to see how many tokens you can get and add up your points. World's Fair 1893, a very simple and easy game for two to four players. Uh, it plays over 45 minutes and is for ages 10 years and up. Thank you for watching that board game show. See you soon.